now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. We had a few clouds building up and a few isolated showers. Looks like it's going to be a pretty pleasant evening, though, as we look along I-37 with our weather bug camera that's brought to you by CCRV. Now, yesterday we had tropical storm Bud that moved in across parts of Cabo San Lucas. Now, it was only a tropical storm, but you can see it really swirling up some of the waves. They're also producing a lot of wind and rain, and that's going to continue to be the case we've got another tropical storm behind that so a busy start to the hurricane season for at least the pacific side for us we're looking at 87 degrees out there with the wind still breezy out of the east southeast about 21 miles per hour high temperature today 92 degrees about one degree above normal a low this morning of 76 rainfall we're still 7.3 inches of rain below where we should be as far as our yearly total but i think we're going to make that up pretty nice Nicely as we move into the week ahead. Right now it's 87 in Rockport, 89 in Orange Grove, 92 in Alice. Factor in the humidity feels more like 98 in Kingsville, 98 in George West, 96 in Beeville. It was a bit breezy. Our peak wind gust today, 28 miles per hour here in Corpus Christi, 33 in Robstown, and 30 in Kingsville. Now a lot like yesterday, the heavier showers mainly right along the inland areas. Also saw a few isolated showers early this morning. You can see that a few of those showers still taking place over in the Hebronville area. Kind of zoom on in areas like Benavides picked up about seven tenths of an inch of rain, about six tenths near Freer. So very spotty, but if you saw the rain, definitely was very pleasant. I do want to tell you about a coastal flood advisory. That's from Port Aransas down to about Bob Hall Pier, that's going to run through at least tomorrow afternoon. We're seeing some very high tides. Water may be up to the dunes in some locations. Mustang Island tomorrow, high tide in the morning will be at 857. And if you're heading to the beach, is definitely a very high risk of rip currents and those waves are definitely going to be building. So we got this tropical moisture. It's coming off the Yucatan. And it's pulling that moisture right in across parts of South Texas. Now there is slight chance we may see some tropical development on it, but right now this still definitely appears to be a rain event as we move into late Sunday, but especially Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's a look at that future tracker and it does indicate may see a few isolated showers, especially in the afternoon on Sunday. Then we're going to move into Monday and they're going to be a little bit more widespread Tuesday. All that moisture is going to be right on top of us Tuesday. Tuesday, we could see the potential for some localized flooding. Going to have to watch that. So just how much rain are we talking about? Well, as we head into Sunday, some areas could get about a half an inch of rain. More areas on Monday, but look what happens on Tuesday. All this very heavy rain then makes its way from Corpus Christi all the way to the Brownsville area. So we're going to have to pay very close attention to the weather on these days. We are seeing some showers across parts of the upper Midwest. But here is the remnants of Bud bringing the rain across the desert southwest. And here's our next tropical storm, Carlotta. This one is near Acapulco, and this could be bringing some flooding rains across the mountain areas of Mexico. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. A few showers possible, 77 degrees, better chance of rain as we head into Sunday. A daytime high of 92. Heavy rainfall possible Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It'll cool down those daytime highs, lingering showers on Thursday and Friday, starting to dry out next weekend, but it's going to be a very wet start to the work week.